Welcome to the Alpha Blueprint, your guide to mastering personal and relationship dynamics. Today we're tackling a tough one, feeling rejected by a woman. It's something we've all faced, but it's not the end of the world. In fact, we're going to show you how to handle it with grace, boost your self-esteem, and turn it into a learning experience that leads to personal growth. So buckle up for some real talk. Don't forget to subscribe to the Alpha Blueprint for more insights and advice. Let's dive in. First off, rejection is not the end of the world. It may feel like it in the moment, but let's dissect this a bit more. Rejection is a universal experience, something we've all faced at some point in our lives. And it's often more about the person doing the rejecting than the one being rejected. Let's put ourselves in someone else's shoes for a moment. People reject others for a myriad of reasons. It could be due to their own insecurities, their personal circumstances, or simply because they didn't feel a strong enough connection. It's important to remember that everyone has their own unique set of preferences and expectations. Now let's bring this back to you. When someone rejects you, it doesn't mean you're flawed or unworthy. It simply means that for whatever reason, you weren't what that person was looking for in that particular moment. It's not a reflection of your worth as a person. Think of it like this. You're a book, and not everyone is going to be into your genre. That doesn't make you any less of a great read. It just means you haven't found your ideal reader yet. Rejection is a part of life. It's a part of the process of finding the right person, the right job, the right opportunities. It's a part of the journey towards becoming the best version of yourself. It's a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. It's crucial to realize that rejection isn't a personal failure. It's just a sign that you're pushing your boundaries, stepping out of your comfort zone, and striving for what you want. And that, my friends, is something to be proud of. So, the next time you face rejection, don't let it bring you down. Instead, use it as a tool for growth, a compass guiding you towards your true path. Remember, rejection doesn't define you, it's just a part of the journey. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. You're more than capable of handling it, and what's more, you're capable of turning it into a stepping stone towards your success. Now let's talk about how to handle rejection. Rejection can feel like a punch to the gut, but it's not the end of the world. In fact, it's a part of life. The first step in handling rejection with grace is to maintain your composure. It's okay to feel disappointed but don't let it consume you. Remember you're not alone in this. Everyone faces rejection at some point in their lives. Next, respect the other person's decision. It's crucial to understand that everyone has the right to choose who they want to be with. If a woman rejects you, it doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong with you. It could simply mean that you're not the right fit for each other. Don't take it personally. Instead, view it as a redirection, not a rejection. Avoid negative reactions. It's easy to let anger or frustration take over when things don't go our way, but lashing out or resorting to name-calling won't do any good. It will only reflect poorly on you. So take a deep breath, thank the person for their honesty, and walk away with your head held high. It's also important to avoid the blame game. Blaming yourself or the other person won't change the situation. Instead, focus on what you can control your reactions and your future actions. Lastly, don't let the fear of rejection hold you back from trying again. It's natural to feel a bit hesitant after a rejection, but don't let it deter you from putting yourself out there. Remember, every rejection brings you one step closer to acceptance. Handling rejection with grace isn't about pretending that everything is okay. It's about acknowledging your feelings, learning from the experience, and moving forward with positivity and resilience. It's about knowing your worth and not letting a single rejection define you. It's about being mature enough to understand that not everyone will see your worth, and that's okay. Handling rejection with grace shows strength of character and maturity. Rejection can be a blow to the ego, but it doesn't have to be. It's natural to feel a sting when someone you're interested in doesn't share the same feelings. That said, it's crucial to remember that this doesn't define your worth or your potential for future connections. So how can you boost your self-esteem after a rejection? Let's dive right in. First, focus on your personal strengths. We all have unique qualities that make us who we are. Maybe you're funny, or perhaps you're a great listener. You could be a whiz at solving puzzles or have a knack for cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Whatever your strengths are, embrace them. They're what set you apart, and they're the qualities that someone else will appreciate one day. Next, practice self-care. It's essential to treat yourself kindly, especially after experiencing rejection. This might mean setting aside time for relaxation, pursuing your favorite hobbies, or even just indulging in a little comfort food. 
The key here is to do something that makes you happy and helps you reconnect with your inner self. Seeking support from loved ones is also an invaluable technique. It's okay to lean on your friends and family when you're feeling down. They can provide a listening ear, offer reassurance and remind you of your worth. Remember it's not a sign of weakness to ask for help when you need it. In the end, it's all about perspective. Rejection is not a reflection of your worth but merely a mismatch of feelings or circumstances at a particular point in time. It doesn't mean you're not good enough or that you won't find love in the future. In fact, rejection can often serve as a stepping stone towards personal growth. It can help you identify areas you might want to work on, and it can also make you more empathetic towards others who are going through the same thing. So whether you've faced rejection once or a hundred times, remember this. Your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. You are enough, just as you are. Rejection can be a great teacher if you let it. Now that's a phrase packed with wisdom. It's true, rejection can sting but it can also open doors to self-improvement. So how do we turn rejection into a learning experience? First it's important to understand that rejection isn't necessarily a reflection of your worth. Often it's about compatibility, timing or a myriad of other factors that are beyond your control. So instead of dwelling on the no, focus on the why. Analyzing the reasons behind the rejection can provide valuable insights for personal growth. For instance, let's say you felt a lack of open communication contributed to the rejection. This is an opportunity to enhance your communication skills. You could start by actively listening to others, expressing your thoughts clearly, and understanding nonverbal cues. Remember, effective communication is key in any relationship, not just romantic ones. Or maybe the rejection revealed some areas of personal growth you hadn't considered before. Perhaps you need to work on your patience, your empathy, or your confidence. Don't shy away from these revelations, embrace them, and see them as stepping stones towards becoming the best version of yourself. Understanding others' perspectives is another crucial aspect of learning from rejection. Try to see the situation from the other person's point of view. This can give you a deeper understanding of their decision and help you to empathize with them. And who knows, this newfound empathy might just make your next relationship even stronger. Lastly, don't forget to celebrate the courage it took to put yourself out there. Every attempt, every rejection, is a testament to your resilience. And resilience, my friend, is a trait of champions. In conclusion, rejection is not a dead end, but a detour directing you towards personal growth. It's an opportunity to learn, improve, and understand better. It's a chance to build resilience and become a stronger, wiser, and more empathetic individual. So the next time you face rejection, remember this. Every rejection is a step closer to success. Learn from it and move forward. After all, success is not about never falling, but about getting up every time we fall. So, feeling rejected by a woman is not a catastrophe. It may feel like a storm has swept through your world, but remember, storms pass and the sun does shine again. Throughout this video, we've explored the facets of rejection and how to navigate through it with grace and dignity. Rejection, as we've learned, is not a dead end, but a detour to a new beginning. It's an opportunity to understand ourselves better, to recognize our strengths and work on our weaknesses. It's a chance to grow, to evolve, and to become the best version of ourselves. We've also delved into how you can handle rejection with grace, maintaining your respect and dignity. It's about understanding that everyone has the right to their feelings and choices, and that includes the woman who may have rejected you. It's about responding, not reacting. We've discussed the importance of boosting your self-esteem post-rejection. Remember, someone else's opinion of you doesn't define your worth. You are valuable, and you are enough, just as you are. Lastly, we've explored how to turn rejection into a learning experience. It's about finding the silver linings, the lessons that can help you grow and prepare you for future relationships. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Alpha Blueprint for more tips and advice. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and remember, you're not alone in this journey. Until next time, stay strong and confident.